Friends, today is Ascension Sunday. The theme for our reflection will be Raise me up, O Lord, to descend inward, go outward, and gaze heavenward. We shall begin with a song, a popular song, which has sentiments very much like a hymn, You Raise Me Up. When I am down and oh my soul so weary When troubles come and my heart burden be When I am still and wait here in the silence Until you come and sit a while with me you raise me up so I can stand on mountains You raise me up to walk on stormy seas I am strong when I am on your shoulders You raise me up to more than I can be You raise me up more than I can be. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew, chapter 28, verses 16 to 20. Now the eleven disciples went to Galilee to the mountain to which Jesus had directed them. When they saw him, they worshipped him, but some doubted. And Jesus came and said to them, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything that I have commanded you. And remember, I am with you to the end of the age. The Gospel of our Lord. Friends, celebrating Ascension Sunday, we look at Jesus' life, which has run its full course. Jesus goes back to the Father. Jesus came down the incarnation in our midst, born in Bethlehem, lived in Nazareth, preached around the area of Galilee, was crucified at Calvary, rose from the dead, and goes back to the Father. But when he goes back, he gives his disciples and you and me a road map something to follow, he passes on the baton to us, so to say, to continue and to bring to completion what he had begun. We can look at this roadmap of Jesus and at this reading from the point of view of three milestones. We can think of three movements, descend inward, go outward, and gaze heavenward. The three points we can reflect on first is Galilee and the mountain. The 11 disciples go to Galilee and the mountain. You know very well that the mountain signifies the meeting with God, the God-human encounter. You have, for example, Mount Sinai. You have Mount Zion in India. You have the Himalayas. where Many holy men and women go there to pray and to meditate. Now, Jesus calls his disciples to Galilee because it is very important for all the disciples Galilee is the place where they were born and bred. They were most of them fishermen. That's where Jesus called them. They saw the miraculous catch of fish. They left their nets. They followed Jesus. The mountains where Jesus preached, the Beatitudes. They saw Jesus healing. 
They saw Jesus feeding the multitude. They listened to Jesus' parables. They saw Jesus encounter so many people, heal the sick, raise the dead. And then he saw them also challenging many structures which were unjust, speaking about the kingdom of God. So Galilee and the mountain is very important to the disciples. Now Jesus comes there and he says to them, Go, the second point, he says, Go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Jesus gives them a mission, his mission which they are to carry out. He says, Do not make a statue, do not make big buildings, churches. He is not talking about that. But he says, go and make disciples, make followers, make people like me, teaching them all that I have commanded you. Lessons of love, service, sacrifice, justice, dying to oneself, etc. So he tells them to go outward to the ends of the earth. The gospel is to be preached to everybody. Just as Pope Francis says today, go forth, go forth. Each of his disciples is a missionary. Funny, the third point is about heaven. When he says to them, Remember, I am with you till the end of the age. This is the great I am. God who was with Moses, Exodus chapter 3 verse 14, telling Moses to go before the Pharaoh, telling David to go before Goliath and slay him. This is the same I am which was with Jeremiah, with all the prophets, with Mary telling her nothing is impossible with God. And Jesus tells his disciples, I am with you. Have no fear. Remember, I will be with you till the end of time. Till you reach where I am, that is heaven and eternal life. Friends, how do we pray about this passage? I would suggest three points that we have just spoken about. The first is Galilee. Galilee is symbolic. It is not just a place, but it can be a situation. So go back in your own life and ask yourself, what exactly is my Galilee? The place where you were called, when you decided to do something in life, you decided to do some special studies or to embark upon an occupation, to become, let's say, a nurse or a teacher or a social worker, or a musician, or a spokesperson, or a cook, or whatever. The time that you decided to do something specific in life, go down into the depth of that experience, the people involved, the circumstances. That is your Galilee. The second point you can ask yourself, and Jesus says, go and make disciples of all nations. It is a commission a mission of God entrusted to you and to me. Friends, after this COVID pandemic, the world will be different. And you and I are called into this world to go forth and to preach the good news. Jesus told his friends, leave your nets. Perhaps he tells you and me to get into the internet, find new ways of making disciples, of preaching the good news. And the third point, when he speaks about eternity, about heaven. Heaven is not just an afterlife. They say marriages are made in heaven. Very true. But heaven is also made in marriages. Heaven is made in the home. In your home, wherever we are. So as an exercise today, perhaps you go up to the terrace. We normally speak about heaven being up there. Or any open space. Look out at creation and ask yourself, am I preparing for the afterlife? Preparing here and now, making my house, my neighborhood, making people around me happy, giving them a foretaste of heaven. I think that is what you and I are called to, to raise people up, to give them a foretaste of heaven and of the ascension of our Lord who lives and reigns forever. We shall remember these three points to descend downward into the depths of your being, thinking of the day that you decided on something very important in life, ask yourself, where can I go outward 
And finally, this taste, the foretaste of heaven, making heaven on earth, making heaven very concrete in your own workplace, in your own home. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, we praise and worship you who ascended into heaven, conquering sin, evil and death. You alone have all authority in heaven and on earth, laid low with doubts of faith and bouts of worry. Especially during this COVID-19 pandemic, I ask you to raise me up to raise us up, loving Lord, raise me up to descend inward and awaken the real me you have created. Raise us up to the awareness that you have called us to be co-missionaries with you, with Abba and the Holy Spirit. Raise us up, O Lord, to get and give a glimpse of heaven in our home, our neighborhood, our workplace and our common home, the earth. Lord Jesus, the great I am, remind us of your power and presence. Raise up those who, these days, are laid low, sick, suffering, hungry, jobless, and dying. May we reach out to them. Make us realize that our hearts were made for you alone, and may we find our rest in you, here and now, and forever. Amen. God bless you all.